During World War II, the United States produced only three four-engined long-range bombers in any numbers. These were the B-29 Super Fortress, the B-17 Flying Fortress and the B-24 Liberator. The B-29 entered active service only in 1944, but played a large part in the reduction of Japan's wartime capacity, raising its cities and destroying its factories before delivering the final blows of the war in the atom bomb attacks. The B-17, the legendary flying fortress, was one of the war's most famous aircraft and a mainstay of the strategic bombing campaign against Germany. The Liberator was the other important American bomber of that campaign. But the B-24 has been overshadowed somewhat by its two illustrious contemporaries. In fact, it was produced in far larger numbers than either of them. A later design than the Fortress, its production began after the war had begun and halted before its end. Yet, in that time, over 18,000 of them were made. They saw service in every theatre of the conflict, in a variety of roles, and proved, despite their ugly duckling reputation, to be one of the most effective weapons of the war. The outbreak of war in Europe in September 1939 saw a change in US popular opinion and a growing awareness of the need for stronger defence of the nation. In January 1939, Consolidated were given the go-ahead to develop a design for a plane that could carry a 3,000-pound load 3,000 miles at a speed above 300 miles per hour. This was to be followed in March with a contract to build a prototype of the design. The first model to see truly mass production was the B-24D, with a longer nose and the addition of turbo superchargers to increase the plane's operational ceiling. The incorporation of the superchargers led to the repositioning of the oil coolers on the engines, which resulted in the characteristic elliptical nacelles that were to stay with the B-24 throughout the rest of its production life. In addition to their obvious role as bombers, the B-24s were soon to be equipped for long-range prowling over the ocean, looking for submarines.